Hello. Hello, dear Mary Cyphers. Happy Friday. Or as I like to call it, Happy Absinthe Day. Because every day is Absinthe Day, really, isn't it? Now, I'm sorry, dear Mary Cyphers, that I have not been with you of late. The truth is, I've been holed up with what we in the trade like to call a bastard cold. Horrible thing it is with all its lurgy fingers everywhere. Uh, the only thing that got me better was I went down to the Black Dove. I've been hanging out with a friend there who gave me some absinthe filled cider. And it's all gone away now. So mwah, to you, my lovely chum, I all better now. Anyway, shall I tell you, dear Mary Cyples, where I have just been this week? Because I know you're all agog. I've been at Davos. Yes, Davos. Well, I know now, you might think it's rather strange, really, to be at Davos. Where, you know, like with me, very important people like me, and all those important other like people there as well. Because let me show you why. This is Davos. Now, I've got to say, it, it doesn't look the friendliest and most welcoming of people. I mean, look at, look at those teeth. When was the last time he saw a dentist, for goodness sake? And not only that, he might turn you all into Maybots or something. Look, this here, this picture, that is what Alan Sugar's going to look like if he carries on without there, The Apprentice. He's going to get all shrivelly like that. But obviously, I had to go to see, uh, to Davos, because my one true love, my Donald, was going to be there. So, uh, luckily, he'd left that malaria behind, malingering somewhere, malingering malaria with all her tablets or whatever. So I got him on his own and I cornered him as only Mary can do. I said, Donald, 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 what is all this about? You said, I am your one true love. So what's all this hanging about doing other things? Oh, he said, Mary. Because that's how he talks to me. Mary, I'd love to be with you. You are my one true love. But I have all these other things to do, like building walls and alienating the whole world as we know it. I said, well, all right, Donald, I take your point. I do have patience, but my patience only stretches so far. I am a woman of needs. So, um, well, perhaps you could give me, like, a token, a token of your love until you real you can be come and be with me. He said, sure, Mary. What about these? I said, Donald, what? One of them's all shriveled. One of them's bigger than the other. I don't want your little Donald. I want the real Donald. He said, Mary, you are a hard task mistress indeed. All right, I'll give you the... Big Donald. So here it is. Now, I know what you're thinking. It's been out in the sun too long. Yeah, I, I, I can see that. But it's just because he's got high blood pressure. He's very stressed with all the important things he has to do and all the shouting at people and eating McDonald's to be done. So that's why. So anyway, I let it go for now. And me and the big Donald and the two little Donalds have come home. <laughs> So, if you'd like to excuse me now, I'm going to go and make myself some fruit salad. Bye-bye, Mary Cyphers. Bye-bye.